what's up this is scott with level up tutorials and in this video i'm going to be giving you a what is wednesday and the topic i'm covering in this video is react native as in what is react native now the reason why i wanted to do this video is because the last time i released a react native course uh, there were several comments saying React Native is not native application building, right? This is JavaScript apps, they're not native apps. And that's totally false, that's totally wrong. So I wanted to take a video and talk a little bit about what React Native actually does and why it's so exciting and why it's maybe not what you'd expect if you uh, don't have any experience in it. Now, before I get started, I'm going to do what one person uh, commented that was an ad in the last video and talk a little bit about the new uh, React Native series that I'm releasing today on Level Up Tutorials for subscribers and for purchase, which is level two React Native with GraphQL. Uh, basically, I teach you React Native intermediate concepts. We make a really nice looking app, which you can see here. It's a fully native application. You get swipe gestures. Uh, we can create a journal post. We can uh, have this all underneath authentication. So uh, all of these posts are are for this particular user. So we do user authentication, we add it, we update, and we do all this using a GraphQL backend. It's a super cool course. Check it out on leveluptutorials.com and uh, or you can head to the Level Up Tutorials store and check out the Level 2 React Native uh, with GraphQL. Or if you don't have either of those series, you can get a package deal with React Native for Everyone with Level Up Level 2 React Native with GraphQL and save a bunch of money. My apologies uh, if that was too much of an ad, okay? So let's get to the question, what is React Native? And React Native, their website does a great job of it, where a lot of these websites we've gone over so far maybe don't do a great job. Build native mobile apps using JavaScript and React. Yeah, that's what it does. Uh, you type React code that's very, very similar to the React code you write for the web. Now it's not the same, it's very similar. Uh, it's very similar code that you write for the web. Now the React parts of it are all the same. The parts that are different are some of the stuff in your render function, that kind of thing. And although some people maybe are a little confused about this, this actually is giving you a full native app for both iOS and Android when you are done. This is not a Cordova solution where you're using what's called a web view and just simply outputting a website. What we do here in React Native is use real native components and real native APIs to interact with our code. Again, this is not just HTML being rendered inside of a web view. We're using actual things like the iOS navigator or the uh, just the native buttons or things like that. We use alert and toast messages like you do exactly within native programming. Now, part of the confusion is, is that people somewhat see React Native as as a write once, build everywhere kind of tool. As in you write your application in React and then it just, you get a native app, you get a website, you get all that stuff. And that's not true. Because the code for React Native, if I head to some real React Native code here, And you can see it is very similar. It's basically the exact same. The big differences come from some of the components. There's no such thing as a div or a paragraph in React Native. In fact, if you try to use those things, uh, React Native will be very angry with you. There's things like a view and a text. The reason being is because these all map one-to-one -one with real components within native development, whether that's Swift or Android, uh, which is Java, but I think they just changed it recently. So uh, either way, what's cool about React Native is that because these things are one-to-one, -one, if you are experienced Swift developer or you're experienced native developer overall, and you all of a sudden are like, I'm, I'm done with React, I'm not into it, whatever, you don't have to start over. You can eject your application out of React Native, and you can throw it into Xcode or uh, Android Studio and pick it up from there.
there. So you can actually go from a React Native app to a real live native app. And that just proves right there that this isn't a web view, this is an HTML, this is real native code. And the cool thing about React Native is you don't have to learn any sort of the native stuff. For instance, this application that we're building in our series here is fully material design and fully uh, with the iOS design guidelines. And I did so using some packages, but check it out. Uh, it's all using the same code. So we can actually, you know, write once and build for multiple platforms. The only difference is, is that, well, this isn't exactly going to a web because this isn't HTML and we're not getting any sort of HTML out of it. Now, some things here is that React Native has a introductory sort of getting started called Create React Native App. And Create React Native App actually kind of uh, builds your project in something called Expo. And you'll notice in our project here, there isn't a whole lot of extra stuff, but we do have an Expo folder. And that's because Expo is taking care of a lot of the more complex React Native stuff for us. But if we ever wanted a fully React Native project, we could eject from Expo. And maybe Expo is large enough enough that uh, there needs to be a what is Expo video at all. But either way, the point here is that React Native builds you actual native apps. And if you comment on this video saying it's not real native apps, then I'm going to tell you you're wrong because you are wrong. These are native apps. These aren't HTML. This is not a web view. Uh, this is how it is. So check it out. This is React Native. It allows you to write native app code in React JS and the standard JavaScript syntax that you know, and it's going to compile it down to Swift or Java and allow you to pick it up where you left off in your native platforms, or you can actually publish to the app store straight from React Native. You don't need to touch Swift if you don't understand Swift or, or Java, right? You can do it all within React Native. So that is what is React Native. It allows you to build native applications using JavaScript and React. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Again, I'm gonna advertise here, so if you don't wanna listen to this, you can shut the video off now. But if you'd like to learn React Native, I have two series. I have uh, React Native for Everyone. I have Level 2 React Native with GraphQL. And both of them are available for purchase right now. If you head to tutorials on the store, um, you can see React Native for Everyone. You have level two React Native, you can buy them together in a package deal and save some money if you want or buy whichever one seems more exciting to you. Or you can become a level up pro and stream both of them for free. So yeah, well, not for free, but for the cost of a subscription. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.